The story of Israel begins with God electing a man of faith, Avraham Avinu, to become the father of countless multitudes who would be scattered among all nations. Genesis 17.5 To fulfill this, Heavenly Father built a nation of twelve tribes to carry his message of life to the world. Genesis 49 He made covenant with them at Sinai and gave them the Torah to be a light unto the nations. Exodus 19 God warned Moshe that if Israel would disobey the Torah, that they would be uprooted from the land, but also promised that he would bring them back from wherever he scattered them. Deuteronomy 30, verse 3. So he brought the twelve tribes into the promised land and made them a world empire under David and Solomon, kings and chronicles. The wealth and surrounding idolatry made them unfaithful to Yah and led the northern ten tribes to reject his Torah light. 1 Kings 12, 16. He then divorced the adulterous ten tribes and sent them into exile, while Judah held on to his Torah, Hosea 7, 8. The house of Judah was never divorced by God, but they also went into exile for Torah disobedience later, first into Babylon in 586 BCE, and after the fall of Jerusalem in 70 CE, again exiled into all the world, Jeremiah 3, 8 and Ezra 1. God promised to have the ten tribes of Ephraim, Yosef, rediscover his Torah light as a testimony to the world amongst the nations, Hosea 3. Judah was brought back to the land first, Zechariah 12, 7, and Amos 9, 11 through 15, and the ten tribed house of Israel is prophesied to follow thereafter and be joined to Judah in the promised land with David, Messiah ben David, ruling over them forever. The fact that Mashiach ben David is not yet ruling in Israel today is proof that the reuniting of Judah and Yosef, Ephraim, as seen in Ezekiel 37, hasn't fully been fulfilled yet. Ephraim today is scattered across the world, assimilated amongst the nations, and because of divisions in faith amongst themselves, is totally unrecognizable, and most do not even know their true identity in Israel. The solution? Judah has to be awakened to the fact that Yosef is alive, but it cannot do so because the Ephraim body is disjointed and unidentifiable through internal division. The solution lies in a two-pronged awareness campaign that the Commonwealth of Israel has been launching internationally. One, to bring awareness to scattered Ephraim of the need to identify themselves as the body of Yosef who is alive. The other directed at Jews, mainly in the land of Israel, to make them aware that Yosef is alive and needs to be acknowledged by Judah. According to the Yosef metaphor in the final chapters of Genesis, it will be the descendants of Israel as called out believers who are willing to remove the pagan garb that will bring about the reconciliation of Judah and Yosef. The onus is therefore on Ephraimites and anyone regarding themselves as one of the body of Yosef. It will not happen by itself. Judah will not initiate it. It will not be done by God alone without your cooperation and acknowledgement. There can be no Israel without Yosef's return. So help us help others awaken and be reconciled today.